Argument conventions are one of the things ABI defines. Um, so far we've talked about how registers are used in x86-64 Linux. Actually, we've only talked about arguments that are integers or addresses, uh, that is pointers. Uh, arguments that are floating point numbers, there's some extra rules that we haven't talked about yet. And the ABI also uh, specifies how results come back from functions. That is uh, in RAX, at least for integer and address results. And then, as we've seen, there are uh, rules about which registers are preserved and not. There are more registers for floating points. Those have similar kinds of rules that we can uh, talk about later. One more thing that an ABI might specify is some rules on um, alignment of the stack. And this explains why, in the various functions we've looked at, there is some extra space on the stack that doesn't seem to be needed. It's because that extra space preserves a certain alignment uh, in terms of its address relative to uh, function calls. So the rule in particular is when a function gets called in Linux you can rely on the the stack pointer being 8 bytes off of 16 byte aligned. Right? The reason it's 8 bytes off is because there was just a call queue right, that pushed a return address on. That's the 8 bytes. Um, otherwise it's 16 byte aligned because that's good for storing things like doubles on the stack. One more thing that an ABI may define is information about debugging. Some extra things that aren't needed to actually run the programs or to make different functions cooperate, but are still useful for debugging C programs. And when that is compatible, then different debuggers can work on programs that come from different compilers.